Welcome everybody to CDC. We're going down to Turf Mar to help the struggling team in Burnley. They're currently only sat with 11 points in their league, written off to be 100% relegated by the time I'm recording this. That's why CDC is here to take this relegating battling team to Champions League glory. But we're going to make it, we're going to do it in the most Burnley way possible. We want two aggressive, tall, strong strikers up top, ready to head the ball into the back of the net, provided from crosses, preferably from the wingers, or anywhere really. So let's get ready for the most adrenaline, testosterone infused rebuild of FIFA 21. This is the team. We're obviously running a 4-4-2, a great British formation. Two strikers up top, we have Vydra, the Slovakian, I want to say. The Czech Republic centre forward next to Wood. The Wood is the target man. He's going to be the one heading the ball. That's exactly what we want. Six foot three, New Zealand. Two midfielders. We have Westwood. We have Wood and Westwood. I'm pretty sure he's British. He's the English central midfielder. Next to him, running with another English, Brownhill. Down the wings, we have McNeil. He has some good potential. Nice. He's English. And Gunderson, the right midfielder from Iceland. Two centre backs, we have Tarkowski, um, an in another English centre back, with me, not me, but literally me. He's 5'11. Might be looking to improve on that position, I'm not sure. The two full backs, we have Taylor, I think he's a bit aging. Oh no, he's not aging, I think it's Lowton that's aging instead. L yep, Lowton is aging is aging and obviously we have the OP FIFA 20 FIFA 14 throughout all FIFA's he's been OP we have Pope 6 foot 628 I don't know if he's gonna be here for the entirety of the rebuild but he's definitely gonna be a key part of this first season probably first few seasons to be exact on the substitutes we have Harvey Barnes it's not Harvey Barnes at all it's Barnes he's another uh, Strong, how tall is he? Six foot one. Another target man up top. Rodriguez, he's just not very good. Cork, another central midfielder. Stephens, another central midfielder. Peacock Farrell, our backup goalkeeper. With Long, our backup centre back. And Peters, a left back. Now on the reserves, we have Brady, left midfielder. Barnsley, a right back. Dunn, 22 years old Irish right back Benson 64 overall 20 year old English central midfielder Richardson how tall is he 5'10 fair enough he's 7 with 17 uh, Norris if his name is Chuck Norris he's going to be in the squad he's probably not though he's 6 foot 5 though so he's how much reflex does he have 67 yeah he's still crap rushes out of goal cool Thompson obviously uh, 18 year old English striker Glennon how tall oh 20 year old English left back nice Mumbogo 77 in pace looking pretty good Swedish very nice Gomez Mancini um, the French cam Diallo central midfielder from England Harker probably another English talent he's another English talent Barrett another English talent probably or Barre or Barrett, who is English, Rickard, and a Welsh cam, and Elvia Fionti, and probably French. Oh, he's English, he's an English right back. Obviously, the tactics we will be using will be long ball for the offensive um, type. We're going to probably up that once more. There we go, that's probably going to be the, the offensive style. Probably going to keep on balance the defensive style just so we can, you know, the team presses the ball in the middle of the pitch and your team shape is neutral. So we're not going to be dropping back, we're not going to be applying pressure. We just want it to be there, our strikers up front, running, and then our defenders just hoof it up. <laughs> that sounds like we're playing League 2. No, this is Premier League football. No tactics, just hoofing the ball up the side of the pitch. The first bit of transfer offers that will be coming in is actually for Dwight Neal, but we will be, he, no one's going to go. So Ben Mee, the captain, uh, Borussia Dortmund have come in for him. 
uh, will be accepting a 13 million offer. Our captain will be going over to the German league. We do also have a transfer offer coming in for Gerd Burgunderson, and I'm very confused. 75 overall. Juventus, Piemonte Calcio have came in for an offer. For a 29 year old 75 overall. You can have him. You you can have him. He's going to the Italian league. You know, he might get a few titles out if, if he doesn't do that. But I'm sure he will get zero game time over there. Also, he'll be freeing up a butt ton of wages. 43k. Fucking hell. We have a swap deal here, actually, for Piertes. Rearson. Oh, let's, let's view him. Okay. 68 overall, 22 years old, Norwegian. Pieters. Mmm. Rather just have the money. Rather just have the money, mate. And we have a transfer offer from Eintracht Frankfurt. 4.1 mil. Value of 3.7. 30 year old striker. Except. Oh, and um, apparently Gundmanson has got so much interest coming from the Italian clubs. It's going to be oh, the same offer. Napoli. Uh, they've come back from a transfer offer. Eric Pieters will be going to Union Berlin, 3.4. Tarkowski. I don't want Tarkowski to leave. I think he's going to be a solid rock in the defence. Even if he might only might go in one, I think he's going to be a key part to our success in the early seasons. You have a transfer offer coming for Ashley Barnes. Uh, Spanish league this time. We're gonna delegate. They probably won't accept that, but let's go for it. We have a transfer offer from the aging right back. Now, lots of old players go to the um, League One, the French league, when they're old. So I think this is quite a realistic transfer. Let's accept this. Is gonna be going for 5.3 mil to Lille. After that, um, after the preseason tournament and all the sales, we are left with 54 mil in the bank. Now we can do some good signings of that, I do think. I think the two positions we have to do, new centre back, new right midfielder slash winger. I think they're key to this new, to, to a side. Maybe a backup, because Mumbombo, I've put him on the loan list. So we could have that, we could put a new cent a centre midfield, uh, you have a right back, uh, I think it would be better because you don't want three central defence midfielders on a, so probably get a new backup striker maybe as well. Um, or you can get someone who's better than Vydra and put Vydra down on the bench maybe, I'm not sure still. But we'll uh, see who's going to be coming into the club. More transfer offers come in. One for Southampton. I don't want to sell a backup to Southampton. I think we're going to keep Ashley Barnes to be a backup. Westwood, he ain't leaving. Lalton, he, we've got a transfer offer for PSV. It's actually more than the Lille offer. We will accept that. You have to bring in a new fullback as well. Ah. Uh, I brought two players in. One of them replacing uh, Shane Long. Not Shane at all. Nathan Aki. And the other. Kolarov, um, who go, actually goes up plus two as a centre back. We could run a three at the back formation, maybe. That's a possibility. But for now, Kolarov will be going ahead instead of Lalton. Because Lalton's the one we sold, right? Lalton is indeed the one we sold. We have the first loan offer. Anthony Gomez Mancini will be going to VVD. V -v -v for a year loan. Dale Stevens will be going to Millwall, the championship for 2.3 mil. <laughs> we signed Alexis Selsmiaka, I can't say the last name, the Belgian right mid showing great potential. He was into AC, something like that. He's from the Italian league. Um, obviously. Left midfielder, don't change the position, he goes up like crazy. Um, I have an idea. Obviously, it like goes against what I said at the start, but what about tall target man, pacey striker up top, you know? Like like Newcastle when they had um, 
Alan Shearer and the other person, I forgot his name. Andy Carroll and Alan Shearer. Yes, that's how we that's how we will describe them, yes. But I have an idea, like Bebal from the German League, Pacey, Tonganese striker, we might get him. We have more transfer offers. Anthony Glennon will be going to I'm not sure how you say that name, but we're gonna delegate it. Norm alone. Vidra. We'll be going to PSV. And Barnes. We will be selling him to make some funds for the striker signing. Here we go. We have a getting behind striker. We have the target man and the pacey man up top. I think this is going to be a legendary. 6'3". He's six foot, so he can still be, I guess, tall. His aggression, he's not the aggressive type, though. But he can definitely, I know, headed down by Wards. Volleyed in by Bebo. Boom. The amount of time I'm going to say that probably won't be that lot, but I want to say it. It's headed down, lovely cushioning header by Wards. Gerard! Amazing. But no, it's Bebo. The Tonganese, man. The first gameplay highlight we have is against Sheffield United. They're on the attack, they play it over the top. It'll be a good tackle by Tarkowski. Taking it out. Bit of hold up play. Found and through, just doesn't get it. And it's called for something. I'm not quite sure what it's called for for Wood. They're back on the attack. Tarkowski with a nice interception and plays it forward. Back to Westwood. Westwood tries to beat this man, trying to look for the pass. Finds the pass, which is Bebo, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, it was Wood, but he just didn't find it. Taskowski again. Now, Sailor Makers. Finds Wood. Can he play it? Can he find it? Oh, it's a nice run. It's a nice run for Bam here. Will it be the first goal? It will be the first goal. Down in the right corner of the net. Bebo has scored the first goal. Um, on this gameplay highlight. You can see a bit of harder play from Wood. Passes it through, splitting the defence. Right in the down, into the bottom corner. Straight back on, we're on the defending though. Uh, you can see it. Now he's got some tackles in. Branwell. This time it's Branwell's job to take it out. Finds the uh, a ball over. Just doesn't deal with it. Bwebo doesn't try to challenge for the ball. Fleck again. This is a good tackle. Tries to fake it. Nice challenge. We won a goal kick from it as well, so it was pretty decent. Defence again. Tail is the one to deal with it. Passing it down to Westwood. Finds Brownhill. Finds the man. Doesn't find the man. It's countered again. Wood. Bit of hold at play. You can see Sally Manza's run. Sally Makers run, sorry. Oh, wait a minute. That was his weak foot. Please say that was his weak foot, but mm, fluffed his lines. Nice challenge by Kolarov to win back position. Uh, gets challenged, but I think it's their throw in. Yeah. Uh, nice by Tarkowski. It's called off offside, I do think, though. Tarkowski again. Lovely. Bobo, you can see him at McNeil's run. A run from McNeil gets inside the box. Try to get past him. Nice, gets forward a bit more. Lovely goal. Lovely goal. The ball wall. The ball roll to beat his man. And then just hits it precision and power very nice you can ha let's have a l little look at this again beats his man yeah very nice very nice goal we're back on the defensive though again we pressed a bit too hard uh kepper's job will be to come out if this is the crops yep pope it's not cope it's it, it he tries to do that slides in again it's a Jakowski, I swear that's a centre back. Nice by Taylor, nice slide tackle. I'm sorry, Pope, I called you Kepo by um, accident. But Westwood tries to find the last run. Illy Brownhill trying to make a run. Trying to make a run. That doesn't matter because at the end we did win this match. We now have Southampton. They are on the attack. I have no clue what Westwood's doing here. They can easily find that pass to Walcott. Pings it off the bar in the seventh minute though. They're looking forward so good. Find the pass. Wood. It gets tackled. Boots it up to Bwebo. That's what you see. This is Barnsley foot Burnley football, sorry. Just doesn't not get it in him. Yep. Southampton again. Nice. 
Kolarov takes it away in the midfield. Westwood sees that run from Bremo again. Bremo this time um, let it run down just a bit. Opposite foot maybe. That was definitely a stronger foot. Definitely a right foot striker. Clinical. See the celebrations. We puts us 1-0 in front of Southampton. Celebrating with Westwood here. And everyone. Tarkowski ran forward. The fans. Fans loving this football. Let, let's have a look at that. Nice ping over the top. Nice touch. Nice, cool, composed finish. With his third goal in the Premier League campaign. Very nice in the 27th minute. They're back here. They play a bit of possession football, I see. Adams. Oh, splits open our defence. Splits open our defence, and Danny Ings does come up on the occasion. Let's have a look at this. Our defence is so wide. Good finish to be fair to him though. Brownhill. Nathan Ake. Who fit up centre back? Who put up Ake? Come on, win for it. Come on. Did you win the throw in? Yeah, we won the throw in. Nice. McNeil. Brownhill. Bumbo just doesn't have the agility to turn quickly, I don't think. Kolarov. Oh, plays over the top. Walker, and it will be Pope taking it out of the air. They're doing a bit of this play. Oh, Marky, Marky, he's through, he's through. Who's that? Is Walcott? Don't let Theo score. I don't know which of the brothers. I don't even know if they are brothers, but they did did just make it two one. I think it's right at the end of the first half. We will do have to make some tactical, some tactical changes. Right now we're still defending. Nice block. Nice save. The follow-up just wide, just wide. And there we have Brown Hill taking it forward. Run, Buebo. Run, 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 Buebo. Buebo's running. He's running. Outpace that man. Outpace that man. Look at him in the middle. Woods in the middle. Wood, Wood, Wood. In the 87th minute, equalising us 2-2 against Southampton. That's what he's here for. He's here for the impressive moments. The number nine striker just made us gain a point. You see the fans cheering. They love him. They love this Kiwi. What do you call him? I think he's a Kiwi. Lovely little placement. Lovely goal. Now we're here against top of the league. With Tadic, he's there on the attack. Zinchenko, Rodri. Putting a bit of pressure on them. Puts a bit of pressure on the ball. Tarkowski with a nice... Run at him, run at him, run at him. Nice, McNeil. Send him through. Ben Bowe will take it round him. Nice. Skips over the challenge. Uh, there's wood in the middle. Nice save, Edison. Nice save. It's cleared out. They're on the attack again. Spuns. Sp get spinned. And Ake against his former club. Nice goal. Nice tackle, sorry. Nice clearance. They get it in. Westwood. Nice. Start the counter attack. Bowo. Bebo. Is running. Oh god, he's he's got something about him, doesn't he? Nice. Ooh, ooh, ball roll. Nice. Have to take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. Nice. Very nice. That was a sick goal to be fair. Nice goal, twenty seventh minute. Put put us one nil up against Man City. You can see he's celebrating there with some of the players. You can hear some screaming in the background. Let's have a second look at this. Fake shot, then ball roll. Rushes at him. Nice. Drills it in the bottom corner. Again, they're on the attack. Long ball. Down to Mares. They don't have the pace. Nathan Ake. Nice against his former teammates. Really nice. Nice. Pope hits it up. Woods heads it down. McNeil plays through Buebo. Oh, gosh. There's going to be a second. Second? Oh, Wood follow up. Doesn't get it though. Doesn't get it. What's going on here then? Oh, good save by Pope. Good save. Good save. Nice. Edward's carrying it. What are they doing here? Brownhill plays it through. Oh, oh, oh. Plays it through to Brownhill. Brownhill gets a touch. And it's Wood. Wood's alone. Don't mess this up. Composes himself, strikes it, strikes it in the left corner, very nice, 
Let's have a look at the celebrations. Two strikers, Westwood. Everyone ran up. Nathan Ake, he's celebrating a bit. The fans are mad. Um, but Man City, even though they are 2 0 down, oh, the good, good start, good stop. They're bombarding our goal with chances. Bombarding our goal with chances. And when they're bombarding the goal, eventually they will be getting one back, which sadly puts him on his ass. And he manages to make it 2 1 in the 89th minute. We still won though. <laughs> right now we have Wolves. <laughs> They're in attack. Tarkowski, good tackle. Back to Florence. <laughs> Tarkowski. <laughs> um, uh, Nevis. Nice. Nice attack tackle. Westwood. <laughs> <laughs> nice ball over the top, pass to, uh, to Buebo. <laughs> um, oh, he's got to it, very nice, crosses it in the wood. <laughs> oh, nice, nice block, tackling by Wood. Wanna hold this Wood? No, nah, no, nah. wanna hold this Buebo. <laughs> Buebo. <laughs> and his block. He just failed at something, all you know. Okay, and then Aki, purple Aki, you know, just tackles him 30th minute. Tarkowski going to make it run forward. Look at this turn. <laughs> I like children. Uh, well, sir, what are you doing in my house? Buebo. <laughs> oh, we just scored! Oh, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're just screaming in the background. <laughs> look, look at him. He's definitely on the list. Just... Wonderful. <laughs> you didn't even get to see the full celebration. Color of McNeil. Trying to do a bit of, a bit of skill. Nice ball roll. Oh shit. Skips over the challenge, goes in for a shot. Side foot. And that'll be the end of the hi that'll be the end of the highlights. That's Carl the Dragon. Uh, that'll be the end of the highlights. We did win one nil. We do have an offer coming for Ashley Westwood, 79 overall, 16 mil, we accept that, and Chris Wood, nah, nah, he ain't going anywhere. And for his replacement, we brought in the Spaniard, <laughs> central defensive midfielder, Luis Mila, same overall as him, except he can go up in his rating, probably around 81, 82. Kids. Overall, probably in the future, maybe at the end of the season. Just like CDC. Let's my god.
We have a match against Brighton. They're starting off with a bit of passing play. Very nice. Brown is going to put a bit of pressure in, get the ball. Put a nice tackle in. Plays it off to our new signing, Miller. Yep, he's a new central defensive midfielder. We got him, you know. Puebo plays him through. Woods, just a bit of muddled up. He's going to get a shot off. And it's going to be cleared up by the Brighton defence, though. Again, we have Miller making a run forward. Miller's made some good funds. But after Wood, who gets it down to Puebo. Where we're going to get a nice little thing in here. Scores. Nice. Drill down in the bottom left corner. You can see them celebrating right in front of the Brighton fans. Right in front of the, the Blue Seagulls. I don't know what you call them. But you can see number 10, number 11, number 9 all crowning around. Nice pass from Wood. Just to get Bebo through the defence. Slotted past Sanchez. And then Brownhill. Miller. Miller can make some good runs. Look at that. Beating him off the dribble. Uh, passes it down to Wood. Doesn't get the pass off correctly and intercepted by the Brighton defence. Now Talkowski here just bodies him, just to get bodied. Ooh. And now we're playing it through. Brownhill finds a nice pass down to Wood. Wood, he's got pressure by the defence, but manages to bang it right top bins. Top bins, lovely finish. Let's have, let's re look at this finish because that's amazing. You can hear the screams from our Burnley fans. Of Wood, the Kiwi. Where are we inside of the seats? You can see Sanchez not very pleased with himself. And manages to drift it just a bit off there, down there, and smashes it. Superb. Let's have a look at it from this angle. Puts his laces through it. Too much power for the keeper to react. Well, I mean, he does react, but it's like, will I put a ball over the top? It will be dealt, though, hopefully. Yep, Ake gets him out, bodying him in the process. Uh, they now have a corner. Going to swing it in. Ben White's on the end of it. Lovely header, to be fair. Lovely header. Lovely header. Miller's making a counter attack. Uh, okay. Wood eventually gets off to Buebo. This is going to be the last attack of the game, I do believe. And it's played in. It's caught out by the Brighton goalkeeper. Now we have a match against Palace. Miller, obviously making that run forward. Miller's been very good this season. Well, the season he's been, Eric, at least. The part of the season. We've got McNeil making the run forward. Kolarov playing through to Buembo. He's just going to cut inside a bit. Nice. Beat that man. Beat that man. Oh, not the best. But they're showing some signs. Showing signs. Showing signs. McNeil. Kolarov gets up to McNeil. Sell him, that's right, he got sold. Or oh, sell this one as well, ah. He sold them both, McNeil, nice. Just drive into the box, drive into the box. Uh, can we do it again? Oh, it doesn't, oh, just didn't wait enough time, I don't think. If he waited a bit more longer, then it would have been amazing. Kolarov, nice pass, nice, back to McNeil. Where's McNeil going to find? He's going to find that in the box. Bembao, Bembao, he does redeem himself from that effort. He does redeem himself from the first effort. Now Shalup's making the run forward for them. Uh, nice. And Taylor with some great defensive work. Great defensive work. You have a ball out of the top. Pope's coming out. Get careful. Nice. Nice Pope. Nice by Miller. He's been very nice. Wood finding that over the top to Buebo. It's at right at the end of the first half, making it 2-0 right at the end of the first half. I did skip that first celebration by accident. This next celebration won't be skipped. As you see, he punches the corner flag. Not as much as Vardy slide, but still knocks it out. You see the crowd cheering as they know that the win is going to happen. Just slides it past, I think it's Hennessy who's in net for them. Now, even at the start of um, the second half, we're looking dangerous. Especially with Sailor Makers making runs forward. Beat him. Nice. Uh, Woods. Brownhill, sorry, making that run in. Bumbo. Bumbo. Yeah, it's it saved by Hennessy. We're looking dangerous. I don't think this is one of the most... Uh, the best defensive showings. But Nathan Ake, he's been great for us all season. He just didn't put the correct amount of pressure on and that did result in us conceding just a goal sadly like let's have take a replay of this like okay our defense has been amazing it's been solid all season just this uh maybe just it was just a one-off i do believe nice you know okay and collar of winning that header that was a nice that's why he's the captain wood 
it's going to wait, plays through Sailmakers. Now, is there a chance that he can maybe put a cross in or something here? Oh, oh no, he's going to try to cock up inside. Nice. Doesn't get quite blocked. Bobo. He wants it back. He wants it back, Bobo. He wants it back. He's going to make it three. He's going to make it three. No. Oh, Brownhill. Brownhill on the... Right on the end of the loose ball. Making it a three. Brownhill not, not, doesn't, hasn't scored much. Got many assists this season. You see, he picked up on a loose ball. That's what you want for a central midfielder playing in a free roam position. The ball gets lost. Boom. Straight in the back of the net. Bobo making a great run forward, to be fair. But it's just Brownhill right on the end of that ball. Great stuff. Let's have a look from this angle. Great. Keeps it on the ground. You can see this power in that finish. I think we got a, we have time for just one last attack. 90th minute. Can we make it far? 3 4. No, no, no. Sorry. 4 1. Wood's making it. Wood. Plays through. Bwebo's there. Bwebo. Bwebo. Don't need to take a touch. Bwebo. 4-1. This game will finish. Celebrating in front of the fans. What a display. 90th minute. Uh, not winner, but a goal. Let's have a look at this again. Makes the same run, just doesn't need a touch. Look where we found ourselves. The FA Cup Finals against Leicester City in the first season. Bruh, I, I didn't expect that at all. Let's get into this. The match starts at King Power Stadium in the FA Cup Finals. Ake making a great tackle. Just going to do it over the top a bit. Buebo making it over the top. Is this going to be an assist? Wood hit on the half alley. Oh, wonderful stop by Schmeichel. Wonderful stop by the Danish Leicester keeper. Let's have a look at this. Great shot. Great save by his armpit. Oh, the ball's going to be sweaty after that. So CC not looking happy. Chadbury taking it forward. Uh, takes it out. Going to apply a bit of pressure to it. Kolarov. Nice. Play it out. Buebo. Did he get the best of Armity? Mm, maybe for a slight second. But McNeil. I wasn't. I just tapped around a button there. I'm very sorry. Okay. Nice. To Brownhill. Is there any going to be any runs that make it forward? There's one to McNeil. There's also one to Buebo. Who, uh, the, the left of defence going to get rid of that, yep. We just can't break down our five at the back. But as the Man City match, they kept bombarding their goals. We're going to keep bombarding our goals with chances. Eventually we score, and it is drilled into the, the box where we found Wood, the Kiwi, number nine, to give us the leading in the FA Cup final. Let's have a look at this. He's sat, he's unmarked. McNeil making the great, great run in cutting inside, just lovely, lovely, right down in the bottom right corner, just takes a step, bang, wonderful. Now they're on the attack. Collar of nice. Oh, it doesn't get to regain the possession there a bit. Bit of handball as well. I go Aspas. He's good at dribbling, and you can see there he sits on his ass. Puts the cross in, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Richarlison does equalise in the 37th minute. Nothing we could have done there, to be honest. Because that header, the header opportunity, nothing Pope could have done. All six foot, all six six of him couldn't do anything. It's fine. But it's fine. We start a counter attack. It's in the second half now. Brownhill finds Wood. Buebo. It's Buebo. Again, we can't, we can't break down this Leicester fire over the back. Tarkowski, nice. Selimens. Again. Again, we can't break down it. We can't break down it. It's so difficult. Soyuncu plays a nice ball over the top. Where wonderful tackle. Wonderful challenge. Pope get it out. Can we make the counter attack? Can we counter? Salamanders. Ooh! Nice bit of Miller. Oh, this is going to be a little tuck by Amity in there. Just a little bit of a touch. Mm-hmm. And this is where it's dangerous. Oh, wonderful save. Wonderful save to keep it 1-1. Roy Hodgson not looking very nice. The ex-Celtic manager. Nice challenge by Brownhill. Ward, make that run. Make the run, Buebo. It's, again, cut out by Evans. Cleared again. It's Miller. Finds that run. 
So I'll make a, you can see that run by Bobo, 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 he's finally in behind, he's finally in behind in the 88th minute, finally in behind, last minute, last minute goal, last minute goal, after this there was another goal to make it 3-1, but I did lose the recording of that goal sadly, the defenders, well all the Leicester team does drop down to the ground, as that goal has just um, implanted us as champions of the FA Cup. In the end of the season, we did finish... Ninth, a very nice respectable finish. Below Arsenal, who finished in eighth. Fair enough. Um, top four Champions League. Well, let's go for the Europa as well. Man City won the league. Liverpool, then United, Spurs, and Chelsea. The relegated t sides will be Brighton, West Bromwich, Sheffield, Crystal Palace is in 17th place. Managed to score past far through them. Very nice. Um, the squads had some very nice growth. It's actually this McNeil guy. McNeil's had some great growth all across. Obviously, Miller's gone up plus one, plus two actually since coming in. Pope Tarkowski, okay. Kolarov, he has decreased a bit, but you did expect that him being thirty-five and everything. I did realise you can practically practically play him anywhere across the back line. How tall is he? He's six two, so you could do a job at centre back. We did convert him to a centre back because then he goes up in overall. Uh, otherwise, he'll probably be like 73 ish or something right now. But overall, let's see how much. Look, oh god. Well, he is 88. Amazing. Top goal scorer time. Top goal scorer. Mbwebo, 28 goals, 8 assists, 35. 35 goal contributions. 36 goal contributions, I do believe, actually. Very nice for the for the Tonganese striker. Top assister, I can have a guess, it'll be Brownhill. Brownhill, I told you, hasn't been scoring much, but assisting loads. Top assist maker. Bwebo's also nice. Wood, 14 and 7, very nice. McNeil, 6 and 6, we're on a plus 6 this season. Whoa, 6, 6 and plus 6. Oh, my, nah, nah. this man's Satan. What do you mean? Thank you for tuning in. It has been CDC here. Um, you're welcome to leave a like. Do whatever you please. If you did enjoy subscribing, it wouldn't be too much to ask for. It probably is actually because you, because you have to scroll down the video. But do it if you do wish to see more videos by me. I know this is FIFA 21. FIFA 22 is out. Still, I do quite enjoy a bit of FIFA 21. Next season, we will probably be looking to improve on the bench and maybe a fullback. Kolarov obviously getting an age. Might have just been a one season player. He, he's been amazing. Let's see, does he still have that amazing shot power though? 92 shot power, 85 free kicks. He still could be a great free kicker. Just doesn't have the, you know, the swerve he used to have. Anyway, it's been your boy. See you in episode two.